these machines are fantastic at holding sizes and tolerances. Um, and like I said before, they run all night, all day, all night, through shifts. If we're not here, they're still running. We're here at GA Sliding Head in Dundee, part of the Prime Group, uh, in front of an SR10J. And there's quite a few SR10s here, but this is a brand new machine from Star. Um, what kind of parts do you make on all of these SR10s? So there's a lot of small parts that we do in the industry um, for a lot of customers. Um, the parts that we normally do in this section of uh, the factory are from zero to one, two, three millimeter max. The bars that we use are probably from three mil up to maybe 10 mil, and then we cut down to the size that's on the drawing allocated from the customer. Um, as you can see here, um, they're very absolutely small tiny, part. they're absolutely they're tiny. Yeah. So hard to inspect, so hard to pack and move on to customers. Um, but in here, we managed to do so with a facility that we've got in here. Inspection facility is really good. You have got a great inspection facility, but if you see, we've got also a little part you're showing us in. This had a, this had a very tight tolerance. Um, it's a 10 micron, 10 uh, micron diameter. Yes. But what kind of volumes do you make of these parts? So we could make volumes from 400, 500, all the way up to two, 3,000 of them. Three, so you've got, if you imagine, I can't imagine 3,000 of these sat in a box. Do you inspect every single one? No, we don't inspect every single one because that would be impossible. The, the man hours, the time spent over a machine. Um, and so the handling, and the, you've got to get a mic on it. If you drop it, they, even if it's a good part, you've lost it somewhere on the bend, floor. As soon as they're damaged, bend. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really tough making, um, using the vernier. We've got shadow graphs, verniers. Um, and you've got a visual inspection system, but you can't fit that on the visual inspection system, can you? No, exactly. We've got, we use microscopes quite a lot. Um, to view smaller parts for burrs, um, sharp edges, dents, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. So when it's hard to inspect these and you, you physically cannot, as a viable business, inspect 4,000 of these tiny parts, I guess it all comes down to the accuracy of the machine tool? Exactly. And without Star, we wouldn't be able to do that. These machines are fantastic at holding sizes and tolerances. Um, and like I said before, they run all night, all day, all night, through shifts. If we're not here, they're still running and we could rely on them to hold tight tolerances as, as much as tens and thous. Yeah. And it's difficult, to, especially when there's small parts, there's quick cycle time. So you're making a lot of parts unmanned without people checking the tool sizing. So you need to be able to, I guess you do, do you need to be able to trust the machine? There's that a you... lot of trust in the Star machine, a lot of trust. And for example, we've had so many Star machines here over the last years holding tolerances to a thou. And uh, yeah, they've repeated every morning. You'll come in and they repeat and repeat and repeat, which is an absolute, that's fantastic. Yeah. And if you couldn't trust these machines, let's say if they weren't such, uh, so good at holding those sizes, I guess, would you have to, would you spend more of your time um, sitting there inspecting more parts, oh, making sure they're if right? If you didn't trust the machine, the order has a massive backlog, massive, massive negative impact on the whole company as a whole. Profits go down, everything. We need star machines for the accuracy of these components we do.